Texas blew up, uh, blew up uh, Kakovka hydro station from inside. President Al Fatah Sisi said on Tuesday that Egypt will be declared free of virus C according to WHO standards. The president was speaking at inauguration of the African Health Excon 2023. He said Egypt is keen to transfer its expertise to African nations. He also said that Egypt is ready to play a positive role in development of the health sector in Africa. And the Cairo hosted the second Africa Health Excon at Al Manara on Tuesday. The event, the largest annual medical exhibition and conference in Africa, is attended by healthcare stakeholders. The theme of this year's event is placing Africa as a continental hub for health innovation and trade. Addressing the inaugural session, General Bahai Eddin Zidane, head of the Unified Procurement Authority, said Africa Health Excon is a gate for the African continent and for Egyptian state towards innovation and trade. He described the event as a platform to connect global healthcare buyers, suppliers, and give a chance for all healthcare partners to interact together. He also said that this year will witness the full dependency on local industry for blood extracts from plasma. For his part, Director General of the Africa Disease Control Center addressed the event. He said African agenda for the production of local vaccines and different remedies has become an important and immediate need. Health Minister Dr. Khaled Abdraffar also gave a speech before Africa Health Excon. He reviewed challenges facing the health sector in Egypt. He said the governmental expenditure in the health sector was at 32 billion in 2014 and had reached 222 billion. President Fatah Sisi received a phone call from Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu. Presidential spokesperson Councillor Ahmed Fahmi said the call discussed uh, Saturday's shooting incident at borders, which resulted in the death of a number of border guards. He said they also stressed the importance of full coordination to uncover circumstances surrounding the incident. He said the two sides expressed willingness to coordinate within the framework of bilateral ties to achieve just and comprehensive peace in the region. The presidency expressed uh, grief on uh, Tuesday over the death of former Health Minister Dr. Ahmed Ahmed Din Raudi. The statement said late former Health Minister was a role model of devotion. It said that the President Sisi sends his deep condolences to the family of the deceased. And the press conference was held by the cabinet over the signing of a document between Cairo and Abu Dhabi for the project to produce electricity from wind power. The project is reported to carry the capacity to produce 10,000 megawatts from wind energy and to be established over 3,000 meters. West of the governorates of Suhaq, speakers at the press conference described the project as manifestation of partnership between Egypt and the UAE. They said that it is to provide 10,000 direct job opportunities during its implementation, 3,000 permanent job opportunities.